This weird eyeball dance is something fierce right here. Ah! Okay. The blood was not something I was expecting. I should consider everyone's perspective to do what's right for the club. But what about you? What do you want to get out of this club? Repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Oh, I did not notice that that was happening. Over here. Okay. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while? So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. And it's only half in it. Oh, never mind. It just happens very irregularly. I thought it was only happening on one sprite. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. I don't think we're gonna get the chance. I know things are a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you. But I n feel like you deserve to know that you're still a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay. Me too. I look forward to it. Shall we go? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat with him a little bit before we leave. Just to see what he th just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? I just wanted to make sure that you're enjoying your time. You know, honestly, I was throwing out around some pretty horrible Monica's the end. Oh, static -y, static -y, static Is it getting darker? Without my input? Yeah, it is. Alright. Did her hand move? No, it's just lighting. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how, mean, with how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Ha ha ha. Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. Uh-huh. One of us are real people. You are still just a full. Both of you are still not real people, but you're trying to mess with me. But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, it's been like three days. Oh, I mean, I guess technically it's only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. They're just things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you would understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. Hmm. Okay. So, that was an interesting detail. Maybe she's not the antagonist of the whole thing, but she's definitely aware. She's definitely aware that she's... Me and my stupid motions that no one can see. And I don't want to... I don't want to add a webcam because that, I feel like that would take away from the integrity of the recording. 
But she's definitely aware of the game, I suppose. Maybe she's not malicious like I thought originally. But. Yeah. I'm just gonna repeat. Yeah, I'm just gonna stumble over repeating myself two more times. She knows something's going on. Alright. Jump. Essence. Doki. Dup, dup. Mm hmm. I didn't even notice this up here. Wrath. Oh. Is that right? You know what? I'm not gonna choose that one just because you put it there so I would confusedly click on it, wouldn't you? It's just adding more ones. Alright, so that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've chosen seven words. Death. Vivacious. You know what? I'll choose the word silly because I do like to throw the word silly around a lot. Fireflies, too. Crimson. Heaven sent. Sugar. I accidentally chose two in a row. Uh, ocean. Unrequited. Unending. Vitality. Email. Fulgent. Um, is that Sayori? Hmm. Because Natsuki had the other, like, hourglass looking ribbon in the, like, on her bangs. Sayori had some kind of thing in her hair. Everyone has a little thing in their hair. Even Yuri has that. Whew. Hello, Yuri. I've been waiting for you. This isn't helping. <laughs> Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica. I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Harsh! Hey, could we not... It's, since we still have four out of four members in this current version of events alive, can we please keep it that way? You almost always... Must you... First of all, our conversations go on pretty long for another person to be in the room with us. It's a little obnoxious. Incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a ridge. This is the first time she's interrupted us, actually. I wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. I'm not even any- it's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little bit on edge recently. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Well, he just walked in too. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting a club and still trying to make it time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I forgot. I'm about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. <laughs> so as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Ahahaha. 
Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some think I did some thinking yesterday, and I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really fr felt threatened or something. But I know it's something that we are doing together. Ah, sorry. I just bumped. I'm bumping everything because. Yeah. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. Especially if she was nice and radiating with pleasantness. Hopefully not masking the... never mind, I'm rambling. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event just suck because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. <laughs> So I'm going to help you too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah. Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans. Hey! Is that so? That's correct. He's already engaged in that novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature? Her, her she, she made a weird smile that time, like, I, I suppose. I was just, actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Oh, calm down. Thank you for understanding. That face was like for an instant there, but God, did I notice it. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Again? Thanks. So, we're not even... This... You said this yesterday. It's going through and describing all... We didn't even go through the weird... Time loopy... Nonsense. This is just... Repeating the same events. Like, repeating the description of the same events. Am I gonna catch her and it actually go on after that? Sorry, I just really didn't feel like reading any of that again. Ten minutes pass. We're gonna walk out. Something holding her up. I'm bored here, so I just had to go look for her. I still really like that effect that they have on the music for here. The nearest water fountain. So if she was gonna hide away to start cutting or whatever, why would you actually choose the first place that they would look? Got the breathing a little better that time. What's that noise? Since before, I thought it was supposed to be like some kind of weird laugh. It's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. <sighs> a sharp inhale as if someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach around the corner, or I reach the corner and peer around it. Eerie. And there that is again. And it's just gonna reverse me a second time? Hey! Alright. I was waiting for something different to happen, because it would have been... Honestly, it would have been interesting if they played this whole segment like it was like PT or something where you have to like go through it like 10 times to notice the de different details of what's happening. But a lot of people probably would have found that tedious. Um, wait, how did I? Sorry, I just had really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't been showing or anything. 
would hate for you to think I'm weird just because we started spending time- just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on a bit more strongly and get a little too intense. I made people, it made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. Ugh. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. I know if no one could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. It's like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. Huh. I don't know why it's happening. Is it just me or has been Monica acting? Or has been Monica acting a little bit off? I just... I know I said that wrong, but it's because I started to say it wrong, I caught myself, and then I wanted to see how it would sound after I finished saying it incorrectly. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently I've felt something sharp when- I've been feeling something sharp when she's around. I'm not crazy. Oofed. Calm down with those eyes there. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she was always listening. But finally we're alone. I don't think... I'm pretty sure she can still hear us. And just a guess. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. That's a little extreme. Then we can have the club room all... This sound design? What I, I'm going to put the other earphone in for a second because this is impeccable. Like, sounds like something I would hear and nobody will interfere with our reading time. That was, t t speaking a little, yeah, intense, strong. The way her animation is cycling from closed eyes to blinking is interesting. Um... Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Oh, hey, I see you back there. I know you're there. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. Yeah, I remember. Knives are cool. Slowly fading in. This is... If you were to not notice the details yet and just start to, it would be quite... I could see how this would startle someone. Sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. That's cool. I make sure to give them their fair share of uh, the, the, oh man. I don't like the sound of that. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club. Her body is like... The way that be, uh, they're overlapping each other is something in interesting. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Hey, I was just fine. Because we all... Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's... Qu oh, hey, calm down. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Hey. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can talk. It's also really, really... N it was a great choice to just have her idle animation be the one that is superimposing over everything. Instead of, like, some new spooky animation, they just choose the same one that you see all the time. And read together. Um, oh. 
eat together is not as strange as I thought that sentence would be. Sleep together? Doesn't that sound perfect? Everything we could ever want. She's being superimposed over the text box. Isn't that... not specifically. It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. So Yuri's gonna get murdered by Monica now, and... Hey. And now that we get that happy ending that I've waited patiently years for. Will you do that with me? And now it's starting to go crazy. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to first? <laughs> okay. Does the history keep track of... It does. The history does keep track of all of that. Okay, I was just curious to see if like those oh I should have done that to read the other like blackout text and whatnot that I couldn't follow before okay well we're gonna show it Natsuki has become the person that I go to when I need a break from like the weird tension that comes from the other two now this one's all right all right well yeah about as good as yesterday's anyway I still can't really tell how much you care about writing but either way you're doing all right even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri S sorry I still think it's nice to participate in activities or have activities that we all participate in so you better keep working hard I mean I know I'm not the president or vice president or anything but that doesn't mean you can let me down okay oh all right so at least read mine too for now what I have not done anything differently for her to like me more. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Oh! Alright. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself. To, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to her therapist. I've always wanted to be better friends with her, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know that I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I feel so helpless. Please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Please just do anything. She's been dismissive about this. It's like she wants me to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her. I know, know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a good poem. Thanks. I'm counting on you for reading. Let's see if Monica's face is hiding in the background anywhere here. Nah. Okay. Okay. 